Hello, hello. What's up, friends? Facebook, YouTube, wherever. Hey, maybe our website, wherever you happen to be watching us today. I'm Sean Zamanoff, and I'm here with your mortgage rate update and uh, just sending a few cheers your way this morning. So uh, the first week of the month is always a very potentially market moving big week in both stocks and in mortgage bonds, um, which are why you're tuning in today. Uh, but of course, you're going to have, we're going to talk about GameStop in a little bit because we just wouldn't be uh, any kind of financial advice or whatever we are today, uh, if we didn't talk about GameStop and how that's going to affect you. But first, let's talk about jobs, jobs, and jobs. So the first Friday of every month that does not fall on the actual first day of the month, so this Friday, I think, is the 5th of February, uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics will release both government and non-government uh, Bureau, Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, farm and non-farm payrolls. And so we'll get those numbers on Friday. We'll get a little precursor uh, to the private sector on Wednesday when ADP, uh, the largest national payroll company, which is why people hinge on what they say, uh, they'll release some stats. So those are things that are potentially market moving. But man, we had a crazy week in the stock market last week. As um, you guys probably saw, I think the whole world knows about GameStop now. Uh, that was a stock that was trading just a, like a month ago or a few, a little short while ago for a couple bucks a share. Then it was like five, then it was like 10. And at one point last week, that puppy was like $480 a share. Um, as a group of uh, Reddit investors on a, a channel inside of there called Wall Street Bets uh, decided that uh, they were going to uh, put a squeeze on some institutional hedge funds that had a huge short position inside of there. So they started buying a ton of the stock and then it forced the, the hedge funds to also then buy the stock to cover the short position. You're like, yeah, so what does that have to do with me? Well, there was a couple days last week the stock market tanked. Um, and uh, because of that, we, we saw some improvements of rates, but that was in the midst of um, the uh, $1.9 trillion economic stimulus plan uh, that had been released that uh, – is, is being met with a lot of opposition, uh, definitely by Republicans and, and, and by some Democrats too, because of the size of the bill. I think as we are, are speaking right now, or, or as I'm talking to you, uh, Biden and 10 Republicans are meeting to propose uh, or to work on a compromise and, and the Republicans have a proposed smaller stimulus bill in place. Regardless of the stimulus and exactly how you sit on that, the important thing for interest rates on that is the greater the stimulus bill, the higher the chance of inflation. And the higher the chance of inflation, as you know, as I love to say, inflation is the arch enemy of bonds. And so it's the arch enemy of mortgage-backed securities. So if inflation goes up, rates will go up. So selfishly, uh, we want rates to stay low so uh, you can refinance, you can purchase, you can do whatever it is that you need to do in your world to take advantage of incredibly inexpensive money. Hey, so I am Sean Zalmanoff, um, myself, Gordon, Derek, Megan, Katie, Emily, Tasha, we're all here. I, didn't, I don't think I left anybody out. Hey, if I left you out, just know you're still important to me, team. Um, and uh, hey, we're, we're here for you, though. We appreciate you all. Have an awesome Monday. See ya.